Oh, good morning. This is your live streamer, Freeman Sullivan, here at Berkeley Civic Center, Martin Luther King Civic Center, where we're here documenting a police raid of the encampment. It's a little dark out here, so it may be hard to see. But we're out here. We got approximately four, five, six, seven Berkeley Police Department. They're out here with a Two dump trucks, another van with water in it, or another pickup truck with water in it, and then to clear out the people's possessions. The main difference between here and the raid earlier this week is that the police have taken a much more nonviolent approach. Hey, could you do it, Adam? Adam, what are you doing right now? Come here. Come here. I just want to say something, bro. Listen to me. I had somebody take my tent across the street on center. If you could snatch it up for me. Because right now I'm working. I'm trying to live stream. Okay? Thanks. I'm watching. I'm with Mike. Okay? This is your live streamer, Freeman Sullivan. We're down here at Martin Luther King Civic Center here in Berkeley, California. And uh, right now we've got between 8 and 10, 8 and 12 Berkeley police officers. It's a little dark, so it might be hard to see. We're here. All right, Mike. So I've been, basically, the scene is this. I've been camping out here with the homeless here in Berkeley for the past week. And where earlier this week, uh, Berkeley police have violently arrested four people, three women and a, and a young man. They were injured and taken to the hospital. Okay, everybody, do not panic. Oh, man. Yeah, that's a word for you. We got an order for to, about curtilage. Uh, yeah. yeah, look it up in Merriam-Webster's, baby. Barbara, uh, local here, um, she works with the homeless, she's an advocate, 
Uh, she runs a food program to feed the homeless. Uh, who, those of you who are watching, please forgive me this morning. I'm a little tired. After the violence earlier this week, police have, have taken a decidedly non-violent role. Don't worry about me, I'm... I guess that's because they know that anybody that gets injured or loses property, we have lawyers at the ready. They probably have most of the Berkeley Police Department down here arresting people. <coughs> Is Patricia here? Is Patricia here? Patricia! Are you alright? No! Why? I don't have a camera! Hey, uh, just let you know, I had somebody come up. Yes, for those of you just joining us, we're here at Berkeley City Hall. This is your live streamer, Freeman Sullivan. And we're out here, uh, we have approximately 15 to 20 now Berkeley police officers who have so far remained nonviolent in their uh, movement of this camp. They, we've been ordered to move, and we're down here at Berkeley Civic Center. So if you're in the area, you happen to be awake, and you live in the Bay Area, and you want to come down and support this, we're at Milvia Street. Uh, easily accessible by BART, one block west of the downtown Berkeley Bark Station. If you're taking mass transit, <coughs> excuse me, we're in downtown Berkeley. So thanks for watching. We really appreciate it. Procedure here. You remember the last time? If you weren't here last time, you're all under citizen's arrest. Every last <coughs> fucking swing is dead here. You're under citizen's arrest. I want rats. Hey, Nazi, what's your badge number? One zero three. You're not under citizen's arrest, sweetheart. Badge number, start offering them up. I want to hear them. We got a camera rolling. Let's hear your badge number. Seven. One zero three. Thank you, officers. You're under citizen's arrest. <coughs> hey, Nazi, what's your badge number? It's at seven. That's it? Seven. Sound off like you got a pair! What's your badge number? You're under citizen's arrest! I want to go! Get that out of here! Seven. 
Uh, a pen? Uh, yeah, hold on. Oh, yeah, bear with me, folks. The camera might get a little shaky. We're in the middle of a police raid here in Berkeley. This is your live streamer, Freeman Sullivan. Thank you so much for watching. Yeah, just give me a second. I'm looking. Here you go. Here you go. Thank you. Here's a cap. Hey, Holmes. Holmes, I had somebody drag off the tent to center, and I had Adam taking care of my tent, or your tent, okay? Well, I'm saying, Adam is taking care of my tent. I'm busy right now. Make sure it's secure. <coughs> Excuse me, folks. I just woke up. Got a massive case of heartburn this morning. At any rate, we're in the middle of a police raid. We're in here in Berkeley at Berkeley, Berkeley Civic Center. Please forgive the fumblies. The camera gets a little shaky. We have uh, the National Lawyers Guild is out here now. Uh, for those of you who are watching, if you could please let me know how the audio and visual is checking out right now, I'd most appreciate it. Just to let you know that we have approximately 15 Berkeley police officers here. Uh, they have ordered the encampment to be moved. Uh, we've been here for three days. This is following a continued harassment by uh, Berkeley police of the homeless here in Berkeley, uh, where the city government does absolutely nothing. There are no homeless shelters in the city of approximately 175 to 200,000 people. Uh, there's approximately about 1,500 people that live on the streets of Berkeley every night. Uh, the other day when I woke up this morning, or when I woke up in the morning, I was on my way to Starbucks to get a cup of coffee. And in a short span of a block and a half, there were six homeless people that were disabled People literally sleeping in doorways here in Berkeley, um, and they were wheelchair bound. Uh, so you take take that for what it's worth. Uh, their police are taking a much more nonviolent approach today, as opposed to the other day when four people were arrested and three people were sent to the hospital. I know it's a little dark out here, so. Basically, the only reason why they're nonviolent is because uh, we, we uh, the people that were injured, we've all brought them to the hospital. We've documented their injuries. We have attorneys representing these people, and 
We estimate that it will cost the city of Berkeley between $250,000 and $500,000 in damages. This is money that could have been more, could have been better spent on providing services for homeless people here in the city of Berkeley. Instead, each one of these police officers that you see out here earn an average of $125,000 a year. So that person represents 10 homeless people that could have been housed and gotten off the street. Each one of these individual police officers, their salary could have gotten 10 homeless people off the streets. So this is what American society seems to represent. There seems to be more and more money for police. But if you're homeless and you're poor, well, the city government says, fuck you. So that's what's going down here in the city of Berkeley today. And I'm sure that Berkeley is only a microcosm, microcosm of what's going on around the United States, from New York to Los Angeles, and now out here, up here in Berkeley, California. Thanks so much for watching. Um, I've spoken with a number of the people here in the encampment, and this is uh, not the end of uh, our activism that's going on here. We per people definitely plan to continue to band together, and this is a series of chess moves that's going on with the Berkeley Police Department. <coughs> uh, sir, how do you feel about uh, the Berkeley Police raiding our camp uh, this morning? Do you have any words that you'd like to add for the people that are watching? Uh, I guess not. Okay, thank yeah, you. <laughs> anything, anything that's uh, family, you know, we're, we're a family channel here. Uh, what would you like to say? I'm remembering the song. And what is your, uh, if you don't have to give your name if you don't want to, but uh, what is Brett Schnaper. Brett Schnaper. Thank you, Brett. And this is your live streamer, Freeman Sullivan. Uh, thank you for, thank you. A veteran of over 500 clashes with the police. So far, I seem to be pretty safe. So far. I've, caveat. Uh, by the way, if you're watching and you'd like more information on the activities of our group, uh, it's a Facebook, so you'll have to get a Facebook account, unfortunately. Uh, that was a order that was given by the one of the Berkeley police officers to the homeless. Uh, the <coughs> Excuse me, I've been getting over a cold. I got a chest cold from sleeping out here. Um, it is, um, you know, we are here in Berkeley, so it's it's about 50, 52 degrees this morning. Uh, it's enough to where if you got wet, you could possibly die of hypothermia. Uh, and the city does absolutely nothing. The city of Berkeley, this is the response they show to homeless people. Uh, they spend a lot of money on police, but nothing on the homeless. And there's a false dichotomy that goes on within our society where if you're poor and you're living on the streets, well, basically the government says, fuck you. Uh, Berkeley police, I mean, Berkeley Mayor Tom Bates has refused to meet with any of the protesters. Uh, we have not seen any of the Berkeley City Council out here. Uh, tomorrow is election day. So take take it for what it's worth. Um, also, if you're watching, and please let me know how the audio and the visual is, and I'll check you out on chat. 
Uh, thank you so much for watching. I'm very, we need eyewitnesses to what's going on. This is only a microcosm of what's going here on the United States uh, regarding people living on the streets. It's a sad commentary on the state of our society when we got money for an overpaid police department. They're definitely overpaid, regardless of what they say. And we could probably get along much better without all these fucking cops. Everywhere you go, it's a cop. Right, so don't, don't uh, doubt yourself about the fact that we are living in a police state where police seem to be able to beat people up with impunity. And all of you know that I do cover all Black Lives Matter protests, so you do know that that's what's going on. And I've been embedded here with the uh, encampment. There was approximately 25 to 30 people that were camped out here and Berkeley police showed up at approximately 4.30 this morning to come and clear this camp up. I'm going to take you down here to the front of the Civic Center here and show you exactly what's going on. All right, we, so far the police have remained nonviolent and uh, yes, no not so far. Uh, by the way, the tent I was using, I had Adam take care of it, so he will, you know, I, um, do you have any, uh, Mike's in here, he is one of the organizers of the protest, Mike, uh, what, do you have anything to say for the people that are watching? Yeah, um, I'm sitting Get out on the steps can barely of, see him, folks. of New City Hall, which is not considered public by the city of Berkeley, it's considered city property, and we're trying to explain to them that city property is in fact public property because we own the government. The police do not seem to understand this concept of we own this building. Okay, so I'm not going to get into a pissing contest with the cops because two days ago they beat up for them. All right? And remember, you can see I'm still sitting here. I'm unable to move yet because I just hit my nail or I can't move my stuff yet. So. I'm going to sit here until I can breathe. And I'm sitting here with all these cops with the gloves on, looking to haul me away because I'm too disabled to move quick enough to satisfy their needs. So, they can kiss my hands. I'm dying, I'm not scared of the cops. You know? If they want to arrest me for trespassing on the piece of property, I'm fine with that. You know? What I'm not fine with is if they touch any of my personal belongings or throw it in the back of one of those trucks without my permission which they like to do. You know, they stole two truckloads, these big ass trucks of gear that almost people paid for. Almost people who get no money paid for this. And they stole them. Okay? Later on today we're gonna find out if they threw it away. Um, my experience with the police is it's already been destroyed. It's against the law. They have destroyed our gear on several occasions illegally already. There's no help for the homeless because we can't afford to turn. Okay? That's the reality. So this is what goes on. They steal our shit, and we can't do anything about it. But this protest now has broken through. We've actually got attention and attorneys. Hey guys, I just you might need to act. I got something for you. And we're ready to fight back. We just need more people to help us. Get yes. out here with us, because we can't do it by ourselves. Yeah, we're, uh, if you're, you live in the Bay Area, we're down here at Milvia and Alston. Uh, we're one block west of Berkeley City Hall, or uh, Berkeley Civic Center, excuse me. Thanks for uh, speaking. That was Mike Zint, Z-I-N-T. And you can follow him on Facebook, and he's one of the lead organizers that's out here. Um, he's with a group that he organized called First They Came for the Homeless. Um, so we have a Facebook group, so you can uh, log on to Facebook and join our group. It looks like City Hall is Right, we have blood out here on the steps of City Hall. Oh my God, City Hall is bleeding! It's really hard to see. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of lights, but if you see the shadows here, is this blood that is meant to represent uh, the homeless people. And basically, you know, this is only the tip of the iceberg. Uh, the homeless folks here in Berkeley, uh, there have been four people that have died in the last month living out here on the streets. So. At any rate, you see that they, it's maybe you can see in the dark here, but they have one, two, three, four trucks 
out here waiting to two dump trucks, a looks another light vehicle, and then there's a pickup truck with a bunch of water. Um, the sidewalk here, I don't know if you can see, has been extensively chalked. I love you, California! Yeah, I'm going to check out chat here, folks. Hey, thank you, Mr. Orbit. Uh, yeah, please keep it. Audio video is great. Yeah, they're evicting all the homeless people out here. Uh, there's approximately 25 to 30 homeless activists. And uh, not only are these... And not only these are these people homeless, but they're also activists. So, uh, thanks a lot, Mr. Urban, for tweeting us out. Anyway, this is your live streamer, Freeman Sullivan. And thank you for watching. We very much appreciate it. Um, You can continue to take pictures of video, but if my voice or my face is on it, I want your live now. Okay, thanks. Everybody's live, Barbara. I can't sign it. I'm shaking too much. Can you leave it somewhere? I'll get to it later. Hello, I give you permission to watch the name Thanks for taking care of my stuff. Thanks for taking care of that for me. God, it's so fucking dark out here, folks. I wish I could get you some better images. to forgive me, I'm working on like about three hours worth of sleep a night. They don't even live in Berkeley, most of these police officers. Anyway, thanks for joining us. We're going to be out of here as long as it takes. Um, organizers will be moving or be trying to keep our group of 25 to 30 people together. Uh, basically, one of the reasons why the homeless folks here are banded together is when you're out on the streets and you're by yourself and you're sleeping rough, uh, you have no protection. Uh, not only just from the police, but also from anybody that wants to go by and, you know, attack you. So when you have a, you know, there's a safety in numbers. So a lot of these folks have come together and join and and join together in a mutual aid to support each other. And that would have been observing me being knocked down on the ground and two 
rags to a fanny wagon for the ice cream. Give them a little space. Oh, give them a little oh yeah, I will. Happening. Can't stand directly behind officer. So. All right, thank you, sir. All right, I just been ordered by officer number 15 of the Berkeley Police Department to move back. Anyway, thanks for watching. Basically, uh, we we've, we've chalked and painted the Berkeley Civic or Martin Luther King Jr. Civic Center here in Berkeley. Uh, there's tempera paint on the sidewalks and chalk. And basically, they're rushing here because they want to get the city hall opened before people show up, so they don't have to see everything that's out here. Uh, so they're trying to get people out of the sidewalk. Don't hassle, please. Yeah, he has asthma, and uh, you could trigger an asthma attack. Uh, that's lead organizer Mike Zint. You're already on my Barbara. What? I already interviewed with the APFA about what's going on. It's already on the news. It's already on the news. It's already on the news. How old the mice on the news? I didn't mention your age. 87. 87. There you go. 86. That's why you were being interviewed? You were the sound effect in the background. While Great. Did you explain what anyway, it was? Anyway, I'm sorry if the images are dark, folks. I will charge I'm working without a light. $5 for each signed copy of that audio file. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, Barbara, uh, What's the plan in order to, I know, but you all know what it is. We have somebody who's with the vehicle that's being issued a ticket. And that's Barbara Brosh. She operates a food program. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, no, they, they actually beat me awake this morning. Usually they don't beat me awake. All right. Uh, this started at around 4.30 this morning. And uh, what is the name of, of uh, Barbara's food program that she operates here in the city of Berkeley? She serves soup to people. And it's called Consider the Homeless. Consider the Homeless! Exclamation point. Exclamation, Exclamation point. point. And where, uh, if you wanted to donate um, food or money to... Barbara's work, uh, how would you do that? You know, it's very grassroots. You just find Barbara and you give it to her. It's not a 501c3 nonprofit or anything like that yet. You just bring it to her house or give it to her and she coordinates it all. Okay. Um, is there a phone number? If you'd like to call and make a donation for people that are watching? Yeah, yeah. Uh, let me give you probably Barbara's number. Okay. What's your name, sir? My name's Arlo. Arlo, your last name? Faria. Faria? Yeah. And how do you spell that? F-A-R-I-A. Thank you. And I, uh, I live and work here in Berkeley, and I'm just very concerned about what's going on. Uh, thanks a lot. So we're getting a number here for you. So if you'd like to help out Barbara and her work, and she's very dedicated. Uh, earlier this week, she was injured by the police uh, for merely asking the police if they would itemize the property that they were stealing from people down here. So you have the number? Yeah, I'm just wondering... Barbara's going to be right and giving out her number. Uh, okay. No, but I had it. There's not a zillion people watching, so it's not that big of a deal. You can give the number out. Really. And people that watch my watch my streams are of like mind. Right. You're not going to hassle her? No, not at all. So the number? Right. Are you on recording? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm live streaming, bro. Yeah, Barbara's 510-717-0181, and it's Consider the Homeless. Okay, thank you. That's 510 Seven one seven zero one eight one. All right. Thank you. Anyway, police are they're really gung ho about. I'm I'm just comment commenting. The police are really gung ho about getting people off the steps here in front of City Hall. It is election time. Uh, uh, for those of you who are watching, please do not vote for Donald Trump. We're asking you. But they're really trying to hustle people out here and get them off here so they can power wash the sidewalk here. See, this is the priority of the Berkeley Police Department in the city of Berkeley. They're more interested in cleaning up this stupid fucking property 
then they are really uh, considered of uh, the well-being of uh, people who are out here. Um, I'm going to I'm going to leave Barbara alone here for a minute because she seems to be a little upset. Uh, but Barbara uh, has been working as an advocate for the homeless for many years. Do you have anything to say for the audience, uh, people that are watching? Oh no, 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 no. And I want to make sure I don't expose myself. <laughs> and that says, old women are your future. And don't worry about the small print. Okay. That's what I have to say. <coughs> so you got it there. It's from Barbara Bra. Huh? Was that live? Yes. Let me know if the totals go up after that. Okay. I want credit. <laughs> yeah, she's very dedicated here, um, beating, beating and caring for the homeless here in the streets of Berkeley. Uh, I give her lots of props. Uh, she was a uh, tackled by the police uh, a couple of days ago and uh, she suffered an injury to her knee. Um, she just received a ticket for uh, driving here to get her vehicle out here so people could load their stuff on the vehicle. And uh, well, I'm losing words here, but we're we're down here. We're on Milvia, uh, 2180 Milvia. So if you're in the Berkeley area, uh, please come down. Uh, the homeless people could use a uh, hey we guys, could use a little sure you take a list of exactly what signs those are. Okay? Could use a little bit of coffee, I'm sure, and some donuts. Uh, yesterday, police were out here, uh, man. They were offering people coffee and donuts. So make these donuts with extra grease. This patch is for the chief of police. Uh, we got a few people down here on Austin Way. Uh, and for those of you who have been following me in my cast, you know that I was out here for covering the uh, sale of the Berkeley Post Office building, which ultimately we've so far been able to block. Yes. Yeah. Okay, no problem. Thank you very much. And if you got a house, put the greens on it. This is the real world, guys. Uh -oh. Not the police. Barbara, that's what you come to. The police are actually being very polite today, in contrast to the other day when they were beating the shit out of people. And we've got attorneys lined up. I'm warning you. Don't listen to the cops. They're not your friends, man. Literally. They beat Especially up people. That one. They beat up people. Okay. If you're black, you're six times oh, more likely to be attacked by the no city. No matter where. I'm black so people violating our rights instead of sitting down here in dog. solidarity. Y'all ought to, seriously, you guys, really, take your shit off and come and sit with us. They wouldn't know what to do without you. They wouldn't know what to do without you guys being their little lackeys, breaking the laws for them. They'd have to touch the stuff and get their hands dirty. Maybe get a little bit of the blood on their hands that's all over the place. Oh, here it is. Oh, wow. How'd you get this? Yeah. This is the one that the company got. I don't like that one. I specifically don't like that one because he's making my first name look bad. My fault. No. You might want to move this stuff and then start the car wash and you don't Just want to get wet. Because of that one. I'm going to get my first name. We get rained on because there's no shelter. You think we care about getting power washed? I need a shower anyways, man. You guys ain't got showers in this town. They're Seriously, disgusting. like every you ain't got bathrooms in this town. They're disgusting. Police force, like, you ain't got justice little around in this town. Is there no PT standards? I woke up this morning and stick when I got one. There's no humanity standard. Why would there be a PT standard? Uh, yeah, that's right, Mr. Herbert. They want to do something good. Tell them to hand in their badges and go to work actually working. Right, donate your half of your salary. These cops are all making an average of $120,000 a year. Uh, basically, I think they're overpaid. But uh, one factor this morning uh, that there has so far not been any violence on the part of the Berkeley police. There have been no arrests so far. Military has PT standards, and those people are actually fucking shit. 
No, they're still just doing their job, but they don't realize that doing their job is wrong. And at some point, everybody wakes up and says, by the way, if uh, my live stream happens to cut out and you're watching, uh, stick with us. I'll be right back up. Uh, stick with us until I actually say this is Freeman Sullivan uh, signing off. And when I actually say that I sign off on the live stream, that means I'm signing off. So uh, stick with the, the, the broadcast until then. Um, you know, the battery, battery power might go out, you know, any kind of number of unforeseen circumstances. And now we have the power washing truck this season. You're going to have to, well, never, you don't have to do anything about like that. <laughs> anyway, here's the power washing truck. About 30 million of them, they got all that money living in mom's basement. And that was Officer D. Montgomery. Thank you. So this is the power washing truck. Um, I've actually been attacked by uh, Department of Public Works in San Francisco, where they were hosed me down with a fire hose. It's a really shitty job there, huh? <laughs> Basically, this is all the help you're ever going to get from the Berkeley city of Berkeley. If you're homeless, they'll be out here. You get sprayed with a power hose. Yeah, they're trying to hustle people out of here and off the steps. Uh, they had a mad rush, basically, to get this cleaned up before the general public shows up. And of those of you who are veterans of watching live streams, we all know that, uh, you know, the cops always show up between 4 and 5 in the morning, as is their modus operandi, because they don't want the general public to see the continuous harassment of the homeless, right? Police always have to act in the cover of night. Uh, there's absolutely no transparency. But as you can see, maybe, they're up at the top, and they have started fire watching the steps. police cars come in the dark of night because they don't want people to see their nefarious activities. person has made it to the top of the steps.
fat man in the end. All right, um, for those of you who are watching, uh, my battery is getting kind of low, so I'm going to have to change batteries, so uh, give me about a minute, a minute and a half to get rebooted, and we'll be right back.